Look at that gorgeous custard pie. If you are into a buttermilk pie or a custard pie, I have got a holiday twist you have got to try. Now, the big question to ask is, are you a fan of eggnog? Because eggnog's kind of like the candy corn of the holiday season. People have really serious opinions about it. I, for one, am a huge fan. I have vivid memories of my dad bringing home one, maybe two cartons throughout the holiday season whenever our local grocery store would stock it with the really delicious fresh stuff. But for me, I love the flavor, I love the texture. It's a really deep, rich flavor that when even I smell it before I even taste it around the holiday season, it just brings back all of those memories. So this is um, super quick to throw together because we end up using a hand mixer, but we have our cup and a quarter of white sugar. We have a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna cheat and use one of the hand mixer whisks. So once you have your dry ingredients together, you are safe to add all of your wet. So the absolute queen of this recipe is the eggnog. I have two cups of eggnog. Now I took the three eggs and you wanna beat them before adding them. Obviously it's still going to be beat with the hand mixer, but I like to add it pre-mixed. Now this one is the most important. If you've ever made a custard pie or uh, specific recipes that add melted butter to something with a bunch of egg, you really want to let the butter cool. So it does have to go in melted, but you, I threw this in the microwave 10, 15 seconds. It's a quarter cup of butter and then it's been sitting out. So it hasn't hardened yet, but it will not start to cook the egg. That is huge, huge, huge guys. Make sure to take note of that, please. And then we've got our teaspoon of vanilla. I'm spilling, I'm spilling. That's okay, I like extra vanilla. And then we mix, that's it. So all of our ingredients are in, wet and dry, and we mix to combine. Now this goes directly into our prepared pie crust. Guys, please feel free to lean into prepared dough. Look how easily it's unrolling. No true cracking, just a little bit of a blemish here, but honestly, makes it look more homemade. I kind of lean into that. You want to make sure to fill in these sides. Pinch the sides. I love the way this looks. It also is going to help me hide this little blemish here. So here we go. We have our filling that we just mixed together. Super easy. You really can't mess this up. Gorgeous, guys. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Personally, I like to add a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. I think it helps bring out the flavor of the eggnog a little bit more. And also just for aesthetic purposes, guys, I think it looks really beautiful. Oven is preset to 350. We're gonna throw this right in. It cooks for 35 to 40 minutes. You just wanna make sure the outsides are set. So it's kind of gonna bubble up and you want this center portion to still be jiggly when you shake it. Right into a 350 degree oven. We'll be back. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, honestly, the dough kind of looks rustic and homemade, I'm into it. Look at that. I let it cool um, and then you throw it in the fridge like for 30 minutes right before serving. Now that is a perfectly set custard pie. And honestly, there's something really striking about store-bought pie crust because look how perfectly freakishly even that is. <laughs> my pie crust when I make it at home is never that perfectly rolled out. There's like a caramelization because of the sugar on the top. Let's try it. Mm. That is so, so rich. So if you are a fan of a classic buttermilk pie or custard pie, you have absolutely got to make the swap for eggnog holiday pie this season.